More than 40 overseas media from 18 countries around the world visited Guangxi province to learn more about this southern region of China and how it will play an important role in the development of ASEAN-China trade relations. The media representatives came from all over the North and South America, Europe, Asia, the Middle East and ASEAN countries to attend the 2016 Cultural China Overseas Media focusing on Guangxi. The event was hosted by the Office of Overseas Chinese Affairs of the Guangxi Chuang Autonomous Region in cooperation with the China News Service and the China News Service Guangxi branch. The launching ceremony for the event was attended by former president of the Guangxi Academy of Social Science and Beibu Golf Research Institute. Mr. Lu Yusheng, Director General of the Office of Overseas Chinese Affairs of Guangxi Chuang Autonomous Region, Mr. Qin Chun Cheng, and Director General of the China News Service, Mrs. Zhou Chun. This time, the sixth aim to make media participants has learned about Guangxi province to introduce the situations of cultural economy and development of Guangxi society, emphasizing Nanning and Wuzhou to Chinese overseas and global recognition. At the launching ceremony, the head of the Office of Overseas Chinese Affairs of Guangxi Shuang Autonomous Region, Mr. Qin Chun Cheng, said that Guangxi is an autonomous region inhabited by multiple national minorities, making it one of the most ethnically diverse areas of the country. Guangxi also has unique regional advantages. It is an important portal for both the ASEAN regions as well as with Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau. According to Qin Chun Cheng, since 2010, the Office of Overseas Chinese Affairs under the PRC State Council and Guangxi have held several events annually, attracting more than 1,500 overseas Chinese businessmen to Guangxi and leading to contracts being made on projects valued at more than 10 billion rimbingbing, almost 1.5 billion US dollars. Recently, Guangxi has made remarkable achievements in reform, opening up both socially and economically, and has simultaneously strengthened cooperation with ASEAN member countries.